only way to transform America into a socialist state was to bring it to its knees economically by overloading the welfare and the welfare state with obligations that could not be met. That's the plan. Look, look, look at the Daily Peace plan. article. It says we need the communist Chinese government to tell us what to do. This is globalism. We've got to get Americans ready to have our TV foreign owned like current TV. Somewhere Alex Jones is readying his flamethrower. Let him. And they go on to say we're going to use the minorities and have a and, and basically racial division and we're going to use women they're actually admitting what rush limbaugh finally said yesterday they want a race war in this country so look at how the campaign was run this obama ran a race war campaign saul Alinsky, you know the the rich are not paying their fair share so you flame the economic resentment get all the minorities to feel you know the the white majority has stolen your money they made you work. And have Obama raise taxes on poor people so they're hurting even worse. Well, and again, it's part of the plan to bankrupt everyone. Yeah, exactly. Because under the lie that he wasn't going to raise taxes, he did raise taxes oh, on something like 87% of the workers in the country. Exactly. It's so diabolical. It is so and diabolical. Lying, lying, lying all the So time. how do we stop him? Because, I mean, this is a, so this is a real Soviet-style takeover. Yes, in fact... Congressman Brown just came out and said Obama uh, only is faithful to the Soviet Constitution. In fact, go back and ask, what has Obama done for the African-Americans? Look at the unemployment rate among African-Americans. What has he done... They've been hurt the worst. The worst. Look, what has he done for the youth who have voted for him? Highest unemployment rate... The, the slimmest chances of jobs of any generation that we've ever had in America. These are the Obama zombies that in college... And he re-legalized U.S. funding for basically forced abortions in China, where they give the women whim, uh, money if they get aborted. Uh, and kill the babies, left and right, force women to have abortions in China. China, look, you go try to bring a Bible and profess the religion of Jesus Christ in China, you'll be in prison. China. But I mean, uh, Doc, and, even though I know all this stuff, we're going to break, I can't believe it's really happening. The Bank of China has had meetings with the United States government. The plan is set for China to transfer its debt into equity, own parts of the United States, manage... Ports. That's official. It's official. The meetings have happened. That's why they said in the People's Daily a month ago, you will take the guns. The meetings have happened. So, so they want the property. They know we're going to fight. And China wants to disarm the United States before this plan is implemented. We are being conquered by the globalists leveraging China. Absolutely. China wants us to have no weapons. I mean, this is so... And, and I want to talk about the military. It's a plan. The Cloward Piven theory, Obama's plan to bankrupt America. A Soviet globalist commie plan. We'll be back. Folks, the reason I keep talking about since yesterday, this Pierce Pressure article that I came out January 21st, I didn't see till the 24th, is that I haven't had time to read it on air yet. And it says, yeah, we're getting rid of America, we're getting rid of sovereignty, you know, we're, gonna, we're going under globalization, new world order, and the gun owners are going to have to turn their guns in. And, uh, you know, the communist Chinese, thank God other governments are going to help. I, I mean, it's everything I saw in the Weatherman trials, going back and seeing the old footage where they plan to bring in the Chinese and all this. And it sounds crazy. Here we are 30, 40 years later, and they're really going to try it. I mean, and I believe they're going to fail, but there's going to be a civil war. Ron Paul agreed last week with us on air. Uh, countless others, every analyst I talked to. Let me ask you that, Dr. Corsi, best-selling author here in studio with us. Uh, a, how are things going for them? They're teamed up with China. That much is clear. Uh, do you think they're able to actually execute this? How do we defeat them? What is the time frame? Well, first of all, exposing them is critical. Like What you're doing every day is critical. Uh, the time frame is now. It's immediate. The plan to bankrupt America is in, it's ongoing today. Cloward Piven theory is in... 22 billion to ship General Motors overseas. I got to read the Cloward Piven theory. Take, I wrote it out in this little e-book. And it explains you bankrupt the United States by overloading welfare with demands that welfare can never meet. Including Obamacare. Including, wait, they'll take the student tuitions and forgive all those loans. It's all designed to bankrupt. All designed to bankrupt. China has had meetings. China wants assets. And see, the, the New World Order people say, well, China's the future. Why? Because China's communist, but they combine capitalism under communism in a model. And the elites are exempt. Then the elites are exempt. The elites get to lead a privileged life with weapons, go into any federal building. What do you find? You find armed guards. You go through metal detectors. All your property is searched. 
the federal government's going to be well protected, and they're going to have weapons everywhere, but they're going to take our weapons because they, China does not want to take over the United States with an armed citizen. It's unbelievable. And they're, and they're planning to just have a slow motion red dawn with all the infra and give China tax incentives, as they've announced, in these free trade zones where no one can compete. And you've even got Governor Perry back with Sintra rebuilding the parts of the Trans-Texas Corridor. That was super highway. Super highways. They're coming back in with toll roads. They're under the radar. They've signed something like $20 billion. Everything is to bankrupt. How is it going for and them? Done incrementally, so you can't see that it's happening in little pieces. It's going well. I mean, they're well, you've got Obama reelected. They've got, you know, a socialist agenda set out. They've got the Republicans on the run. What's going to stop them is the Second Amendment and the American people finally waking up and saying no. And Alex, you're playing a big role in this. Every day getting the information, we at WND, every day getting the information in front of the people, the truth. Look, I just wrote about the fact of oil. We are selling to the Chinese oil rights throughout the United States. For nothing. For nothing. And George W. Bush would not, remember Unical was going to be taken over, uh, I think, uh, 2000. And that's what government land is all about, so they can just give it away. They can give it I remember away. 15 years ago reading about the UN uh, World Heritage Sites where they admitted the buffer zones, hundreds of thousands of square miles around it, was, was being pledged to the national debt. And who owns the debt? China wants to manage the ports. China. China wants to manage the ports. They wanted, they're managing the ports right now. There's no, that's the deal. We'll, we'll, we'll use your dollars for slave goods our slaves make with suicide nets around the factories. But you give us the, the Long Beach and the Panama Canal and the infrastructure and the oil. Panama Canal, China is. They're managing the... Everything, Sardinus, everything. Manzanilla. They're ready to manage Los Angeles. And they want free trade zones in the United States where communist Chinese can come in and set up business. This is a takeover. It's a takeover. It's a step-by-step -step takeover. And it's happening. And our debt is giving China the, the leverage they need to demand assets. And then the global issues, our military, what's left of it, as the leverage point to keep the commie Chinese in, in line. We don't have to have a military. China has one. People are understanding that, oh, they say, oh, it's a conspiracy theory. It's not a conspiracy. It's a Conscious plan to bankrupt the United States. Conscious plan to take away our freedoms. You get the Patriot Act coming in after 9-11. You get now the, you know, terrorism is expanding, so we've got to be able to take guns away, school killings. All these fear elements end up in taking fundamental rights from the American people while we're being indebted to China. And China wants the assets. The New World Order people, communist socialists, say... China is the future because China is communist, but they've figured out, you know, the Obama people. Well, they're really just slave masters. Capitalism. They're slave masters. Yeah, yeah. Communism for the slaves, palaces for the controllers. Precisely. I mean, you know, Obama gets, you know, multi-million dollar vacations. Ten million dollar vacations, red carpets. They're the new Hollywood. And, and celebrities. And, you know, so does Nancy Pelosi. You go to a federal building, you're going to have to go through a metal detector. Your property is going to be looked at. You're not gonna, they're all going to be protected, the federal government, by guns and weapons. And by the way, they're not part of Obamacare. Nobody in the Senate and the House is part of Obamacare. Nobody in the Senate and the House will be part of any gun restriction. China wants ports. The Bank of China has met with the federal government. They've said, we want, a, we want assets now for our debt. We'll get, and the Cloward Piven theory drives this. Because the Cloward Piven, two sociologists who had a plan, they bankrupt New York in the 70s with this idea, overloading welfare, so capitalism crashes. You blame capitalism, you reconstruct socialism, let the Chinese come in and show us how to do it. The Chinese understand capitalism the way it works, and we're just being prepared for it. The discussion today in the, in the Senate about guns is to sensitize people. Remember, same-sex marriage. 20 years ago, people were offended. Now everybody's desensitized. The same with a gun takeover. You set, introduce the idea, you show Newton, 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 all these school. You want to protect the schools, put armed guards in them. That's what they do in the federal buildings. It works for the federal. Federal buildings are not no, no gun zones. The federal troops have you know, federal officers in every House and Senate. But how do you beat it when they've got all the illegal aliens voting and everything? What they don't have is they, you've got the people in the United States, those left in America who understand 
that the founding fathers created. We have to get aggressive and realize how much trouble we're in and go after them politically, legally. People have got to make this a full-time deal. And take it seriously. Yeah, this isn't a joke. It's not a joke. I mean, this is now when, you know, pre-prepared, you know, all these, the census data, the data about filling out all this information. The smart meters watching everything they're doing. They're collecting data right now to know where everything is. So when they come to get the guns, they all say, well, give us the one you got in that closet. You registered it. We know you've got it. Hand it over. You know, this is where the information... And they know when people fight back, then it'll be, oh, there's a new terrorist threat. All we want to do is register the guns. What's wrong with that? Well, as soon as you've registered... Then they them, take they, them. They know where they They go, are. but you can keep your bolt action. Now Australia's banning bolt action. Well, and again... What's an assault rifle? Well, the assault rifle is going to be anything they decide is an assault rifle. That's why they're now saying, oh, it's handguns, too, we're going to ban. Anything you want is an assault rifle. And again, the Second Amendment was designed for this very situation. Why do we have more heroin coming out of Afghanistan today than when the Taliban ran, went, ran Afghanistan? Again, we are the drug cartels. We are the gun runners of the world. Fast and Furious was just the tip of the iceberg. You mean guns are being run worldwide and the NSA and the CIA doesn't know what's happening and can't catch anybody? It's nonsense. Drug cartels penetrating into the United States. You mean we're able to sell billions of dollars. I'd say the drug business may be a trillion dollar business. It is. To drug addicts in the streets of Colorado and every other city of America. And, you know, the CIA and the FBI can't find them. We have a criminal government. Our government is running drugs, permitting it to happen, and running guns. And running Al-Qaeda. And running Al-Qaeda. We are the drug cartels. We are Al-Qaeda. You know, I want to know, for the eight hours this embassy was under attack and we had drones there, do they sit and watch it in the State Department? Of course they did. House? Did they go to bed and let our, our people die in the field over there while, in fact, we had... Al-Qaeda attacking, and we were running drugs. We'd rather have those ambassadors die than admit we were, they were there with guns that were run, that were as a cache of guns that were illegally brought into the United States by the United States, headed to Syria. That we, we, if they didn't die, we were going to expose our own gun running. So the, you know, the our White House and over in Pentagon and CIA, they watched them die rather than call in military. And order the CIA torture base down the road to not help. And stand down.